So, yes, I have cheated many times during my healing journey. And you are not healing when you're cheating. I get a lot of questions. And today I'm going to be answering a question from a subscriber who emailed me a list of questions. And I figured this is the best way to do it because honestly, I just don't have enough time in a day to answer all the emails that I get on a regular basis. So here it goes. This is from Lyric. She said, I'm writing to see if you can address some questionable foods and cheat foods. The first question is liquid aminos. I read the label and it's derived from soy. What do you use and does it hinder healing for us starting just starting out? So you're right, it does have soy in it. I do not use liquid and liquid aminos. I, there was a time that I that I didn't understand that liquid aminos was soy. Can you believe that? But that was a long time ago, so I do not use it. Um, I rarely use any type of um, aminos or soy like sauces. Um, it's not a healing food. It is something that you want to eat on occasion. You don't want to eat that every day. But what I use in place of it, if I'm going to use anything, it would be coconut aminos. And I try to find an organic variety. So or, uh, coconut aminos. The next question is nuts. Are there any nuts that are okay? One comment said pecans are okay. I love nuts. So nuts and seeds are okay. There are some that aren't. And if you want to know the ones that aren't, you can download the free foods to avoid list that is down in the link in the description box below this video. But pe pecans are just fine. Um, you want to keep nuts at a minimum because higher fat slows down the detox. And as you know, or, or may, may or may not know, um, nuts and seeds are high fat. So I would keep it to, you know, two ounces a day, depending on how far into detox you are looking to go. And I will be talking about that more um, in my upcoming uh, fibroid detox workshop. If you're interested in that, you can click the link below. Okay, so Beyond Burgers are made of pea protein. What do you think about this as a cheat sometimes food um, every other month or once a month? I would never eat that under any circumstances. It's a chemical cocktail and they are very bad. And when you're on the, <laughs> when you're on the healing journey, um, you don't want to have cheat days like this. If you're going to have a cheat day, you want to have it in a whole food, um, uh, vein. So for example, potatoes are on my foods to avoid list. They are, they're not good for fibroids, but if you just got to cheat, I would recommend, you know, doing like a sweet potato or a regular white potato without putting any bunch of junk on it or something like that. And you have to change your mindset about how, you know, you are looking at um, food when you're on a healing process. And that's another thing that I'm going to talk about in the workshop as well. But um, the problem is, is that when you start cheating, cheating in air quotes, you tend not to want to come back to the healing lifestyle. So I recommend you just stay on the healing lifestyle until you get healed. And then you can start adding things back to your diet um, occasionally. That's how I look at doing it. And I have done both. And cheating is like the thing that causes your process to take a whole lot longer. So did you ever cheat when you were healing? What did you eat and how often and still was able to heal? So yes, I have cheated many times during my healing journey and you are not healing when you're cheating. So it takes you back. Like, so if you've been, if you've been on your healing journey and you've been doing great for two weeks and then you decide to cheat, you're taking yourself back a couple of steps. That's just the bottom line. There are no, there's no way around it. It's, it's a mindset thing where you have to, you have to shift that. So I'm sorry, <laughs> but we have to change the way we're thinking about food. And the reason that we want to cheat is because, and I'm, uh, you know, I don't know anything about your life, 
but I have worked with a lot of women and the reason that most of them have wanted to cheat, including myself, is because of food addictions. And so that's the thing that we have to conquer when we're um, on this healing journey because the food addictions, whether we want to believe it or not, is part of the reason why we got in this situation with the reproductive health issue in the first place. So hopefully that helps. So that was the last question. So I hope that that has helped you, Lyric. And I'm sure these questions being answered has helped other people. So thank you for sending them in. And I will talk to you soon. Take care.